Hey folks, so you're in SQL Server, you have a bunch of tables, say for example in this database, this one doesn't really have a lot, this is just something I was goofing around in, but see how they're all like kind of the same table with, you know, different suffixes, like people added all this stuff? It's a big mess, you know, you think, well this must be the newest one, and then they just renamed all the other stuff, but you don't know. How do you know when a table was created? This doesn't tell you everything about it, but at least it tells you when it was created. Well, how do you do that in SQL Server? Okay, this is different in different, um, o, you know, RDBMSs. Like, for example, this code will not work in Oracle, it won't work in DB2, it only works in SQL Server. Because SQL Server calls the object table sysobjects. And it calls the the object type xType. See, the, and these are different in different systems. So anyway, we're going to be selecting name and CR date, which is the create date from this table. Again, we're selecting from objects, and we're selecting, oh, by the way, the reason we're selecting these two fields is because there's a whole bunch of fields, and they'll totally obscure what we're trying to do. And half of the fields, you're never going to even look at them, and you're never going to care, trust me. Uh, but then it says where X type equals U. Well, what does that have to do with anything? When you create a table in SQL Server, the X type is U. Not because you created it, but U stands for user table. If it has an S for the X type, that means it's a system table. See, there's different types of system. There, there's different types of tables. One's created by the system. They're already there when you install SQL Server. And then there's all the really cool ones that you create later on. Those have an X type of U. And then what we want to do is we want to look at the CR date in reverse order. So we're going to say order by two descending. We could have said order by CR date descending, but this is the same thing. I just used an ordinal because it's another little teaching thing. It's not always a good idea to do that, but hey, I was lazy. It took me longer to explain it than it would have to do it. But watch, watch. Boom. That's all you do, okay? And then it has all the tables, and it's like this was created last, this was created first, and this is all the other stuff in between. Uh, coming up soon, I'm going to also be doing another video showing how you can run a report from SQL Server to show when stuff was altered later on. And when you do that, it'll actually show you who altered it. So that's pretty cool too. So keep on the lookout for that. And if you like this video, please consider hitting the like button. Come on, you're right there. And then, if you really like this video and want to see more cool stuff like this, please consider uh, joining and becoming a subscriber. Alright, thanks. Well, go out and make some money. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.